So, this is week eight of my stock buying journey for this year, for 2024. And I did it. I finished. I bought my two shares of Coca-Cola, taking me up to 55, and that's kind of it. That's done. My plan's done. If everything goes according to plan, I should get my $700 worth of dividends this year. I don't know what I'll do with them. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if they'll just sit there in the brokerage account. Uh, how are you guys doing if anybody else is doing something like this as opposed to your traditional 401k? I'd kind of like to know, kind of like to get some ideas. Um, I'm thinking about going more towards a 20-year U.S. Treasury bond, like saving up a bunch of money and buying that. I have an idea of having like 10 different stocks or possibly 9 different stocks and a treasury since it's at 4.725% interest or something like that. It's paying more than Coca-Cola. It's paying almost as much as Wendy's, but it's more secure. There's no potential for it to go up, but there's no potential for it to go down. Kind of. Um, I don't know where I'm going to go. There's still 10 months left of the year. I could just try and bust out more Coca-Cola shares and more Wendy's and maybe more Hasbro or Altria. I don't kind of, I don't know. I'll just see where the wind takes me, so to speak. I think that I could maybe get this to a $900 by the end of this year. Maybe even $1,000 in dividends. But I'm not sure that's the uh, route I want to take at the moment. Because I just spent the last two months just basically everything into the brokerage account that I could. Kind of want to have some fun, you know? Uh, what's the point if I can't have a little fun here and there? Might buy some more magic cards, even though... I don't open them, and I just plan on selling them anyhow, so it's not really that much different uh, than stocks. So, kind of just more inconvenient, honestly. So, I would like to kind of have some feedback on what should I do. Should I more go for the bonds, since they're at like a 30-year high right now? They might go even higher. Or should I just keep chipping away every week at like... Coca-Cola till I finish that or maybe even spread it around go for some Hasbro or Altria since they are my stocks that are the most down at the moment and just add to those positions kind of dollar cost average down into those so then next year I would have a, a big jump head start on it and I mean that's not to say that buying a bond wouldn't also be a giant head start on next year because the coupon payment on the bond of something like whatever uh, $4,000 would be almost like 750 or something like that or I mean um, not that that's way too high sorry uh, $75 dollars every six months so it'd be about $150 something like that so should I go for more of that route more of that safe route uh, but who knows if I would have just gone more coca-cola maybe in four or five years the coca-cola payments would have eventually hit up there and got to what that bond payment was and maybe coca-cola shares have also increased in value Maybe that's the better long-term play. I don't know. Unless bond rates go up to like five and a quarter percent or something like that. That changes the conversation completely again. So I'd have to do a lot of like math and figuring and risk. 
risk management and all that stuff. What am I comfortable with? But, I don't know. I'm happy right now. I, I did it. I set out, set a goal, accomplished the goal. But now you're with that what's next part. Where do I go from here? And right now, I don't know. Got about another week to like figure out what I want to do. If I want to keep on keeping on as I have been, uh, do I want to look at some other stock to incorporate into the five I've been going at right now? As opposed to building those positions or just trying to finish off Coca-Cola for where I want it. Because I figure I'm going to need about a $41,000 portfolio is kind of where the math is at right now. So, we'll see.